In today's video, we climb straight up, take a fall, all for this amazing view on top. This is a Tungsten Peak Trail. Hi, my name is Peng. I'm a photographer and I am a travel addict. And today we're going to do a quick two mile round trip hike to Tungsten Peak. The trailhead is about 15 minutes west of Bishop, California. Google Maps driving direction will get you there, but it does take this big detour. If you switch to satellite view and zoom in, you can see there's this dirt road just off of Sawmill Road. This shortcut road follows the power line and is not mapped by Google. No matter which road you take, the long way or the shortcut, both are fairly easy dirt roads. I did it in my van with only two wheel drive. I think any crossover with decent ground clearance can make it. From the parking lot, we saw two trails, one on the left with a trail sign and one on the right with no signs at all. I can't be sure, but I think the left hand trail is a more direct route that follows the dry creek up. If you know, feel free to leave a comment below. But the GPX track I downloaded it goes to the right and it looks a lot easier. So that's the route we followed. I'll throw the quick stats for this hike on screen right now. As you can see, it climbs 1300 feet in one mile. So yeah, it pretty much goes straight up and straight down. We're doing this hike on June 18th, 2023. Supposed to get down to, get up to 91 degrees down in Bishop. It's already 74, 75 degrees here. Um, no shades on this trail, so um, definitely bring enough water. It's 0.25 miles. We climbed 300 feet already. I haven't done something in this elevation in a while, so elevation actually is making me more tired than usual. That is a giant end colony right here on the, in the middle of the trail. From here, the trail briefly goes downhill and at 0.28 mile, you'll come to a very easy to miss junction. And yes, we did miss it on the way up. Make sure to turn left here, cross the dry creek, follow the trail marker and begin a second stretch of steep climb. This stretch is steep and rocky, but fortunately short. Soon, the trail gentles out and begins a more steady climb for the next half a mile. Just below the peak, the trail begins a steep climb again. This part is getting steeper. And there are rocks to walk on, but they're kind of sandy and slippery, so... You can see someone slipped here. So, you gotta be careful with that. That's a false peak. I thought that was a peak. It's not. I think we keep going. But, I don't think it's that far because we're probably less than I'm about 0.1 mile away, I think. So, not too bad. The trail guide I'm using actually, instead of going to the peak, actually, oh, whoa, I can see Montana now. Oh, so what I was saying is the trail actually goes that way, not to the top of the peak. And I was, I suspect this is the reason why, because that point probably have better view. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, this side is a lot more gentle. Why don't, why don't we come up this side? Oh, 
Okay, so looking at the GPS map, that actually is the highest point. That's the peak, but you can see it's pretty anticlimactic. It's kind of flat. So I think we're gonna hang out here because this dramatic outcrop is nice. Yeah, you can see both sides from here. It's a 360 view here. Oh, nice. Oh really? <laughs> this little puny peak? <laughs> oh, we never put anything down in these registrars. Wonder if we should start doing it. I should start putting the Island Travel Attic in there. By the way, that area, there is a lot of bouldering over there. Climbers hang out over there. Uh, Peabody, Peabody Boulders, the mom and pop or whatever, Mis Mr. and Mrs. Peabody, that's over there somewhere. Okay. Missing Is this stuck? No, it's just, it's tight. I can't believe it, I think this is only the second one. We, <laughs> I think this is only the second one we've ever put down. The first one was the that peak, the June Lake one, reverse peak. There. After we finished filling the register, we had some snacks and enjoyed the view. So I was looking at the registrar, only one person signed in the book yesterday and we're the only people who signed in today. Of course there could be other people, other hiker who uh, didn't sign in, but so far we're the only people up here, so I don't think this is a very extremely popular trail, but look at the view behind me, it's uh, definitely worth it. It's a two mile round trip, although there are a few steep sections, there's nothing too extremely difficult, so I think I'll definitely come back here again for another hike. Um, now we're just going to head down, basically retrace our steps, so I think this is a pretty good place to sign off. If you did enjoy the, the video, please uh, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing, and I will see you next time. Mmm, getting hungry. So this part is a little sandy and steep, but it's only this short stretch. <laughs> it's a point. <laughs> okay, okay. The best part about this van is with Volta, we can turn on the air conditioning without being plugged into a campsite. And in my case, at least, the way that I use this van, it's very important because I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. It's over 90 degrees outside, it's over 100 degrees inside, and I just finished a long hike. I'm so happy I have air conditioning right now. Mmm, and a cold drink, coconut drink right out of the fridge. This is why I love Volta. <laughs> <laughs>